hello once again, and welcome to the very first episode of Permaplatinum! Permaplatinum is a new series that I'm doing where I try to get zero deaths in every single game and get the Platinum Trophy. I gotta get every single trophy. On today's episode, we're going to be doing Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl, and this game is known for not being forgiving with many, many enemy types such as mutants. Not only do we have to deal with mutant animals and mutated things, but we have to deal with humans and even the environment. About 0.1% of the players have this Platinum Trophy, so can we get this Platinum Trophy? Or will we succumb to the terrible world of Stalker? A little bit of context, we start off the game with this guy finding a Stalker. A Stalker is a special type of agent, and he sends him to this merchant for some money. The merchant proceeds to loot him to see what he has on him, and the Stalker turns out to not even be dead, and the game pans to a shot of the word Stalker, very foreboding-like. Turns out that we are actually the Stalker, and one of our main goals is to kill that guy that was on the phone. Why do we have to do that? I have no idea why. Like I said in this little dialogue we had with him, I want him to treat me like shit because I am a rookie. I have no idea how to play this game. I never played the Stalker series, and we ended up getting a trophy for doing so. Dead or alive, I don't care. I need the flash drive with the info. Visit Wolf from the local camp and ask him. He oh, we got a task! Oh, look, you're finally awake. Alright. Our goal for the beginning of this game is to accumulate as much money as we can so we can buy better gear so that way we do not die right away. Now I end up picking up a bunch of jobs from a bunch of different people like Wolf and others like that. You may attack if necessary. Over. There's two missions we have to do. One's part of the main story, one's a side quest. The side quest is we have to go kill a bunch of boars, mutated boars pretty much, because they killed some of his guys. And then the main story quest we have to go get is a U USB stick, and that's for the merchant, because it could have some vital information that he needs, and Wolf's gonna send some of our guys to help us in the process of doing so. This is why I learned that the binoculars are our best friend, because we can actually scout out most of the enemies and determine what we're dealing with. And man, we ran straight into this fight with the boars. time baby come back for reward all right we ended up turning our reward back into wolf and he gave us this weird uh, wrenched item i don't even know what it is and then we met his boys along with the order to attack time to move on and be heroes he doesn't have teeth let's go boys let's go these guys are so gonna die but i'm gonna use the shit out of these guys for uh cannon father because i don't want to get one tag Wolf's guys kind of suck, and they didn't deal with the enemies, so we were forced to go in there and deal with the stragglers. Oh, I'm fucking scared, dude. I do not want to die right away. Oh my god! Oh my god! Get in load! Get in cover! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I suck! I fucking... Did I kill him? I think I killed that guy. Thankfully, Wolf's people killed a bunch of guys, because if I would've ran in there with Wolf's people, I probably would've died, and my aim is god-awful. So what I did was, is I ran away like a bitch I am, and then I immediately picked up another gun that was way better, and then I dealt with them. Oh, shit! So awkward, it's just... Constant crows yapping. Right. Position, we need to get in a better position. That way we can actually pick these guys up. Let me get them from the back, pause. These enemies can quickly drain my health if I'm not careful. Oh fuck! He scared the shit out of me! I didn't know he was in there! That guy's open. That guy's in the open. There we go. We got a fucking... We're gonna... Mm. Now I killed the bandits. Holy fuck. I could never thank you enough. We got the trophy, the worst stalker ever, and that's because this guy right here is a stalker, and he sucks. I thought it was because I let all Wolf's people die. Um, actually, it's not because of that at all, which I'm very grateful for, because I thought they were referring to me. Anyway, I asked this guy, Nimble, if, uh, what kind of job he wanted me to do. He wants me to go pick up the perfect suit for him, so that way he can have it for whatever reason at all. But there's a bunch of do wolves and dogs in the area, so we have to be careful for it. So our game plan, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna head straight to the, uh, perfect suit area where Nimble 
wanted me to find. Then we're gonna head north and we're gonna go deal with the mutants that are in the area so that way we can help um, more wolf's people out or the merchant. It was one of the two. I can't really remember. It doesn't really matter. They pay equally the same. And then we ended up going to the perfect zoo area where there was a bunch of dogs there were and this kind of didn't work well because there was also mutants there too. A strat I did is because these dogs were chasing me is I would run forward until I can get a couple pod shots at these dogs until I found this. Oh my god, that thing just lunged at me. Holy shit. Okay. Okay, that thing's not to be fucked around with. Oh. Fuck this thing. Whatever this thing is. This is what this thing's icon is. I can't even pronounce the name of that thing. But anyway, after it scared the shit out of me, we were eventually able to get the perfect suit. And our goal, like I said, was to head north. Um, even though I shouldn't have done this at all because there's a bunch of soldiers everywhere and they are not friendly. Here we got some soldiers there. I do not believe these guys are friendly. Holy shit! Alright, run through this, run through this. Oh my god, they started unloading. They have an AK and I want it. You may be wondering why I attacked them. Well, it's mainly because I wanted their gear. Even if they weren't hostile, I really wanted to get one of their AKs and their armor. And I ended up regretting this decision. Fuck. Oh, why did I run out in the open like that? did I? How the fuck do I? I'm fucking drunk now. Oh, this is not helpful. Strafe, fucking strafe. Get back in there, you dumb fuck. Oh my god, I just drank every fucking bit of vodka. Oh. Oh my god. Alright, alright, these guys are way too hard. I don't know why the, why did I decide to fight them. I need to get back to the camp ASAP. Go, fucking go, fucking go, just book it, 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 book it. I'm drunk out my ass. I don't know what's going on. Oh my god, I got hit by radiation and it slowed me down. I don't know how we survived this, but we barely survived this. We eventually headed back to the main compound to turn in a bunch of our quest. Hey. Hey, wake the fuck up! Wake up! I'm trying to talk to you! You dumb bitch! I got your stupid suit, it almost killed me! After getting some questionable loot, I have no idea what any of this is for, by the way. And this could be god loot, and this could be terrible loot. But I know what is good loot, is when we returned our USB stick, we got $1,500, which was amazing. And we actually got more quests from him. We got purge the area from mutants, find the jellyfish artifact, bring over the tail of the, the dog that we killed before, and kill the sales representative. But more importantly, we had to investigate the journeyman, but I bought a bunch of stuff for healing because I did not want to die. We also had new armor that we got from Nimble, so what we have to do now, our plan is to go and meet the journeyman, and we end up meeting the journeyman, and something happened to him. Yeah, he was dead as hell. And what did he die to? Well, I have no idea. He had a frag grenade on him, which was awesome. He had two of them, in fact, but there were just a bunch of dogs. After I quickly dealt with the dogs and decided I didn't want to really deal with this quest, so I headed back to the soldiers. I don't know how to use the grenade though. Oh, I just wasted two grenades. Fuck. Why does this thing need to be reloaded so much? Alright. What do you think? What do you think? We, th we run in there, just shoot him with the shotgun, and then run out? Maybe. Nope. I tried to hide over here to take even more pot shots at them, but their damage output was just absolutely insane. But I did not want to back down at all. I was determined whether to kill these guys or fail the challenge because I wanted to loot that bad. I was the loot goblin in this instance, and man, I pussy down. Get fucking closer! Get closer! And just like that, I didn't even die to the humans, I ended up dying to radiation, and it ended up killing our streak, and no, I could not get the platinum trophy without dying in Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. Now, there was 45 trophies, I ended up only getting two. That is absolutely embarrassing. But, if you guys want to see me work on more Stalker videos, or more videos similar to this, um, I'm going to recommend stalker call of this i don't know call of whatever the hell that name is or stalker clear sky 
if you guys want me to try and get the platinum trophy for that i'm more than open to doing it right now i'm working on boulders gate 3 platinum trophy and i'm gonna be honest with you i have about 500 hours of this game i actually know how to play it and i'm way better at it so i'm actually working on it right now and so far the run is going good knock on wood but yeah if you guys like the video well you know what to do <laughs> thank you so much let me know in the comments if you want to see more in this series and until next time my fellow c supers you guys have an amazing day this is Kenora signing off bye